We are a week away from the start of the 2024 NFL Draft, and today I put out my second-to-last mock draft before we get going in Detroit next week. Seven rounds, no trades. Can't wait to break it down with you guys here in the next couple of seconds or so. But before we get into that, make sure you click that subscribe button right at the top of today's show for next week's draft coverage. Extensive Steelers draft coverage all throughout the week. The latest Steelers rumors letting you know who the Steelers are targeting at the top of the draft. Plus, we're going to have live coverage for every single pick of the Pittsburgh Steelers 2024 NFL Draft. We're going to have a bunch of stuff for you guys, so make sure you click that subscribe button right now if you haven't already. Now let's get into my mock here, starting with pick number 20, and the guy that I would like the Pittsburgh Steelers to take, and I hope falls to us at number 20, is Troy Fano out of Washington. Now Daniel Jeremiah actually said that there's a team out there that thinks Fano is the best center prospect in this year's NFL Draft class, and I wouldn't be surprised if that's the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, in my opinion, if you're drafting Fondo, you're probably getting him to be a tackle, all right, probably a left tackle. Now, he has the ability and the athleticism and the smarts to play center at a really high level in this Arthur Smith offense, which is going to ask him to do a lot of outside zone stuff, uh, and I think he'd be a great fit there if that's what they wanted to do with him, but Fondo is one of the best pass-protecting left tackles in this class, really good as a run defender or run blocker, I should say, from the left side. I think he's awesome. I'd love for him to be the Pittsburgh Steelers' left tackle moving forward and keep Broderick Jones on the right side. So who's your guy? Let me know down there in the comments section what prospect do you hope the Pittsburgh Steelers take in round one. I'm not sure if Fondo's going to be there for the Steelers at 20, uh, but I damn sure hope he is. And if he is, I'd be sprinkling that card up to the podium if I were GM Omar Khan. Who is that guy for you? Let me know for today's pinned comment. YouTube's going to throw you an ad break here in just a couple of seconds. When that happens, take advantage of that time by answering today's pinned question. Then in round two, we'll take Ricky Pearsall, wide receiver out of Florida. And I love this wide receiver prospect, man. He's got it all. He's a dog as a run blocker, all right? Arthur Smith is going to love that. He's got inside and outside versatility. He's got great hands. I mean, look at this Look at this catch, man. He's jumping up in the air, hands catch fully extended. All right, this guy can catch the football. Probably has the best college football catch I've ever seen in my entire life on his film. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go check out a Ricky Pearsall highlight, highlight tape. It's probably going to be the first one on there. But, man, he's an awesome player, great route runner. He's a little bit older, but you're bringing him in to be an immediate wide receiver two option, so that doesn't really bother me all that much. Very experienced, very crisp. A uh, very, very good player here in Ricky Pearsall, and I'd love for him to be wearing black and gold next year. So coming up here, rounds three through seven of my latest Steelers mock draft here. Some very interesting picks coming up here in about 30 seconds or so. But before we get into that, and before we get into rounds three through seven today, I want to have a word from our sponsor here at Price Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS or download the Price Picks app today and use our code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100 today. And Price Picks has specials for new and returning users alike right now for the start of the MLB season. When you head on over to prizepicks.com slash CLNS or download the Price Picks app today. Football season has been over for a while, folks, but the action on the diamond is just heating up. And get in on the excitement right, right now with Price Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app, where you can turn your baseball knowledge into serious cash. That is, if you know ball. The 2024 MLB season is now off and running, and you can pick more or less right now to make some money from the comfort of your couch while you watch your favorite team play. Prize picks is super simple. All you have to do is pick more than or less than on two to six player stat projections and then watch the winnings roll in. Get started right now if you haven't already at prizepicks.com slash CLNS or download the Prize Picks app today and use our code CLNS for a first deposit match of 100 Dollars. You can pick more or you can pick less. It's that easy with our friends at Prize Picks. A big shout out to Prize Picks for sponsoring today's edition of Steelers Talk. Then we get into round three here, where I'm going to take cornerback out of Kentucky, Andrew Phillips. All right, and I love Phillips' game. I have him ranked as my number six corner in this entire draft class because I love the tenacity he plays in his game. He doesn't have necessarily the best long speed or even the best arm length or anything in terms from a physical standpoint. Right? He's a little bit undersized, but when you watch him play football, inside-outside versatility, great instincts to read the eyes of the quarterback, super physical. I think he fits exactly what the Pittsburgh Steelers are looking for, somebody that can come in and be a number two corner right away in this defense, in my opinion 
whether you want to play him in the slot, I think he'd probably play in the slot right away. And I think he'd eventually graduate to being your number two cornerback option on the outside. I think he's got Pittsburgh Steelers written all over him. And I think he'd be an excellent number two receiver to Joey Porter Jr. in this defense for the next decade. Then we get into the other, or now we get into, uh, this is not Renardo Green, Mr. We just, we just took Andrew Phillips here, Mr. Coop. So we need to get to number 98 in the NFL draft this year, where we are going to take uh, Cooper Beebe out of Kansas State, interior offensive lineman. And listen, you might be saying to yourselves right now, Jack, Cooper Beebe's a guard. We need a center. And that's true. But guess what, man? Guess where James Daniels played his college ball and he was considered the best center in the draft of his draft year? I think that you take the best available interior offensive lineman at the best possible value. And right now I have Cooper Beebe ranked as a top five interior offensive lineman in the class. He's got great athleticism for this outside zone running scheme. He's got great power. I mean, just look at those freaking arms. I mean, it's like tree trunks. I mean, it's unbelievable that what Cooper Beebe is able to do. Plays with great awareness. And James Daniels has the skill set to move back over to center. I think that this would make the best possible offensive line for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Fontenot at left tackle, Sayamalo at left guard. Uh, then you get uh, Daniels at center, BB at right guard, and then you finish up with Broderick Jones at right tackle. Then we get to pick number 119 here. I'm going to take an edge rusher, Mohamed Kamara. Uh, listen, guys, I love Nick Herbig. I think he's a great rotational edge rusher, and that's what he's going to be his entire career. But if Alex Highsmith or TJ Watt gets hurt, right now the Steelers don't have anybody that can play three downs. Nick Herbig is tiny for an edge rusher. He's going to get his ass bullied in the run game if he's going to be asked to start. But Muhammad Kamara is a big body. He's somebody that eventually is going to be able to come in and if Highsmith or Watt gets hurt, can survive three downs in the National Football League and Herbig can stay in that really good rotational role that he currently possesses. kamaro has got big arms. Uh, he's got a, a bulldozer type mentality. I think he needs a little bit more refinement, but I trust the Steelers to get that out of him. And I think he has the potential to be like a Shaq Barrett type player in the National Football League moving forward. Then we get into round six here. I'm going to take Christian Boyd, the defensive tackle out of UNI. I saw this guy play live at the Shrine Bowl in Frisco, Texas a couple months back, and he absolutely dominated. And before you say he went to UNI, he didn't play anybody. He was dominating some of the best offensive linemen in the country at the Shrine Bowl. I mean, this guy was straight up dominant. I think he's a perfect eventual replacement for Cam Hayward at the three technique. Keanu Benton and Christian Boyd uh, could be the twin towers there in the middle of the Steelers defense for the next decade. Then we get Jalen Ford here. Texas inside linebacker, undersized, but good in coverage, all right? That's what he's going to do in the next level. We don't know the status of Cole Holcomb, whether or not he's going to be able to really be a long-term option or even a short-term option, if we're being frank, for this football team. You do have Patrick Queen. You do have a Landon Roberts. Those guys are your locked-in number one and number two inside linebackers. But if you need somebody uh, to come in and be a good rotational piece that's really good in zone coverage, plays with good instincts, can trust him on the NFL football field, I don't with Mark Robinson right now. I would with Jalen Ford. So here's my mock draft hall here. You got Troy Fondo in round one, could play tackle or center, so that gives you some versatility, could play guard as well. Ricky Pearsall, wide receiver out of Florida. I think is a perfect fit for what Arthur Smith is looking for in a number two receiver. It would be a great value at number 51. Andrew Phillips, a great number two cornerback option for the future, getting him in round three. Cooper Beebe, interior offensive lineman from Kansas State. Uh, Muhammad Kamara, edge rusher out of Colorado State. Really good stuff from him on tape, in my opinion. That's a steal in round four. Christian Boyd out of Northern Iowa. I think he's a steal in round six. And then Jalen Ford out of Texas would be a fantastic rotational piece as a uh, pass, uh, pass defensive specialist. So grade this mock draft for me down there in the comments section. My second to last mock draft before uh, we get things going in Detroit next week. Give me an A, a B, a C, a D, or an F. I, I think this is relatively realistic, and I think that this is something that I would be very happy with if I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Coop says it's an A, so therefore it's an A, folks. Okay, so now... Make sure you guys give me a follow on Twitter, X, Instagram, whatever you guys want to call it, on social media. I, prov I, prov I give you guys uh, an additional splash of Steelers and NFL draft content every single day on both of these uh, social media accounts. So if you want more from me, I'm at Jack underscore Sperry on X and at SpareDog.Football 
on Instagram. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Really do appreciate all of your support. And until next time, here we go, Steve.